Kublai Khan was one of the most famous rulers of the Mongol Empire and the founder of the Yuan dynasty in China. He was born in Mongolia in 1215, the fourth son of Toliui and the grandson of Genghis Khan, the founder of the Mongol Empire. Kublai Khan was educated in the Mongol traditions of warfare and politics, but he also had a keen interest in culture and religion. In 1260, Kublai Khan became the Great Khan, the supreme ruler of the Mongol Empire. He immediately began to expand the empire's territory, launching campaigns against the Song dynasty in southern China. Kublai Khan was a skilled military leader and strategist, and he was able to use his superior forces to defeat the Song army in a series of battles. In 1271, Kublai Khan declared himself emperor of China, founding the Yuan dynasty. He made his capital in the city of Dadu, which is now Beijing. Kublai Khan was a patron of the arts and sciences, and he invited scholars and artists from all over the world to his court. He was also a devout Buddhist, and he promoted the religion throughout his empire. Kublai Khan's reign was marked by a period of stability and prosperity in China. He introduced new technologies, such as paper money and gunpowder, and he improved the country's infrastructure by building roads, canals, and other public works. He also encouraged trade with other countries, establishing diplomatic relations with Japan, Korea, and Southeast Asia. Despite his many achievements, Kublai Khan's reign was not without controversy. He was criticized for his heavy-handed rule and his attempts to suppress Chinese culture and traditions. He also faced resistance from the southern Chinese, who resented his rule and staged several rebellions. Kublai Khan died in 1294, and his empire began to decline shortly thereafter. The Yuan dynasty was eventually overthrown in 1368 by the Ming dynasty, which restored Chinese rule to the country. Nevertheless, Kublai Khan's legacy remains significant. He was a powerful and influential leader who left his mark on China and on the world. His reign is remembered as a time of cultural exchange and innovation, and his contributions to science, technology, and art continue to be celebrated today.